been in a mobile home and you walk in the door and you feel a soft spot up under your feet and next thing you know you got a hole in the floor or something like that well in this video right here i'm going to teach you how to fix it all right so what we got right here is we got um a hole in the floor right so it's right here in front of the front door and you can tell like somebody kind of kicked it in before i bought this mobile home and over time that water getting in there past that seal and everything which there is no weather stripping in that door you can see daylight clear through there uh we got a rotted out floor right here now something that needs to be said right here is like back in like the 80s 90s and stuff like that they used to make these floors out of like particle board which is basically a bunch of sawdust and everything just glued together and pressed into a board form you know, kind of like those meat patties and stuff that you would eat in school. It's not real meat. But what I can see down here is that we still have good floor joists. It's not like they're rotted out or anything. And they're actually dry, they're pretty sturdy, and they actually hold weight. So the only thing we're gonna have to do is just cut out the rest of this stuff down here, cut out our piece of wood, and then, you know, fit her on back in there. All right, so the tools that I'm gonna be using in this video are a circular saw, I have right here. So we'll need this to cut our wood and I'm gonna tell you exactly what measurement this is here in just a second. I will also be using an oscillator tool to maybe shave off some of those areas and stuff where there's still some wood kind of clinging to it. And I'm also gonna be using this grinder right here too. So it'll help me get out nails and staples and shit like that that's left in the wood. Also the wood that I'm gonna be using is going to be three quarter inch plywood. And that's pretty standard issue. It doesn't matter whether you're in a house or a mobile home. This is the plywood that you want to have for your floor, because if you don't and you try to go cheaper or something like that, then, you know, obviously the floor is going to bow and people are going to be able to feel that under their feet. Are you still down there? Yeah, I'm trying to be. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So one of the first things that you want to do is we're going to have to cut that floor out. So the best way to go about doing this is this is three quarter inch plywood and we want to adjust our blade because we don't want to cut into our floor joists. So I'm just using this as an example right here to get it just a little bit lower than that. And we wanna leave those floor joists alone. So I tighten it up and it sits just like that. So you wanna make sure that you cut along the edge of the wood that you wanna remove and be sure to cut in between each of the floor joists as well. And when you're done, just stomp them out and pry up what's left. Here I am clearing out the old wood staples with my grinder so that they don't prevent the new wood from laying flat on top of the floor joists. When you measure from the edge, they should be roughly about 16 inches apart. Matter of fact, they should be exactly 16 inches from the far edge to this edge right here, and that's exactly what they are. So if you ever get yourself a measuring tape and you see like these little numbers on here at 16 inch intervals just like this here, that's because these are your standard measurements inside of a home. And let me make sure that this thing is in focus. So yeah. So you'll want to count out all the gaps that you have in between the joists that you have to cover. And then measure out a few pieces and cut those pieces to fit in between those gaps. Then you should be able to install your floor joist supports in between those gaps and then secure those with construction screws from both ends. And remember, if it doesn't fit, it probably does. Now what I want you guys to see what I've done right here is instead of just putting the plywood right there up against the right there on the uh, floor joists, what I did was I took the time to brace these things up and I cut a couple of two by fours out there because if you don't do this and there's a chance that the wood uh, by the wall might actually bend in between these things. But if you don't do that, then you might have somebody come in here trying to like step on the floor and be like, you feel that? You feel that? You see how that bends just a little bit? You might knock a thousand dollars off. And now it's time to cut the plywood for the floor. So after I've got my dimensions and everything measured out, I'll go on ahead and mark these at both ends. And then I'll use a chalk line to make sure that I have a nice straight edge to cut along when I pull out my circular saw. Now me and my contractor Dave are going to put the wood in place. Now this might require the use of a hammer and a pry bar because it should fit nice and snug into the floor just perfect if your measurements are right. 
After you got that into place, just go on ahead and secure the brand new wood on each of the joists in the floor with construction screws. And that, my friends, is how you fix a floor in a mobile home or any other home.